Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Owl of Asia. I hope you're doing good today. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the cost of living in Chiang Mai versus the cost of living in Bangkok. So as someone who's lived in both cities for many years, pre and post COVID-19, I can confirm as a single person, you can expect to live in Chiang Mai from anywhere between 25,000 Thai bar to 35,000 Thai bar, and in some cases, much lower. To have the same standard of life, but instead in Bangkok, you would need at least 45,000 Thai bar every single month. So to add some context onto this, I've looked at a few statistics, piled these together, and also looked at my own cost of living over the last few years. And I've come up with some interesting statistics. So the rental prices in Chiang Mai are around about 40% lower than in Bangkok. Restaurant prices in Chiang Mai are around 15% lower. Grocery prices are between three to 6% lower than in Bangkok. And utilities tend to be 11 to 13% lower in Chiang Mai compared to Bangkok. So what do these statistics mean? Well, looking at these as well as the full list that I have in front of me, doing all the maths and the calculations, we can see that the cost of living in Chiang Mai is around about 20 to 40% cheaper, depending on the area, than Bangkok. So the first category to look into is the rental costs. Now, if you're going to live in Bangkok, one area that you may choose is Sukhumvit Road. It's a very popular area. It's where a lot of expats live. Only a few months ago, I was in Bangkok looking through condominiums and the prices ranged anywhere between 13,000 Thai bar all the way over 20,000 to 30,000 Thai bar for really high end premium housing. But the minimum I found for a decent condominium around Sukhumvit Road was between 12 to 13,000. Interestingly, 13,000 Thai bar would get you something such as a, a two bedroom bedroom apartment or a big family house for the same price as you would get a studio in Bangkok. The next area is the food costs. I found the food costs to be fairly similar. However, one thing that surprised me and surprised many expats who live in Thailand but visit Bangkok regularly is the difference on food delivery apps such as Food Panda and Grab. For example, chicken and rice in Chiang Mai can cost anywhere between 50 to 60 Thai bar on average. However, in Bangkok, it tends to be slightly more expensive, usually 10 to 15%. And additionally, there was also a delivery charge, which tend to be a little bit higher than average, which made it more expensive when ordering food. Bangkok is a city that's well known for its business and investment, and many entrepreneurs and also many wealthy individuals are known to live and visit in Bangkok. And as a result, there are some affluent areas areas around Bangkok. But at the same time, there's also some low cost restaurants that offer high quality food. And no matter what your dietary requirements, whether you're a vegan, you're a meat eater, you're lactose intolerant or anything else, you'll be able to find food easily available and cost effective in Bangkok or in Chiang Mai. So to summarize, I just wanted to give you my own testimony of uh, both areas. So it's very clear from the statistics and the feedback from expats, as well as my own account, that Chiang Mai is considered less expensive than Bangkok. Having said this, Bangkok is a fantastic city. It's very beautiful. It offers a unique experience for locals as well as expats. Additionally, there are also many different types of activities and meetups happening all across the city. So to be honest with you guys, one of the reasons that I moved to Bangkok from Chiang Mai was to improve my social life. And yes, it happened. After moving to Bangkok, my social life dramatically improved. However, the cost of living was far more than I expected. Many locals, as well as foreigners who have lived in Bangkok, explain that Bangkok is much more expensive than Chiang Mai. And even though that I kind of knew that was the case, I was still surprised when I started to look at my bills and realized that I had not a a lot of spare cash each month. So what I would say is if you guys are coming from a Western country directly, or you have a large amount of wealth, then you won't feel Bangkok is expensive. But as I was coming from Chiang Mai, and I've lived in Thailand for many, many years now, and I was used to these low prices, Bangkok felt relatively expensive. But one thing to remember is that Thailand is a very diverse country, and you can find so many different places, no matter what your budget, what your lifestyle, and you can live very comfortably in in this beautiful country. 